Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the Talos Principle 2 tonight. Uh, last time we got all the way through the third major segment. We've got to start on Act 4, which means once more, well, three more times, I suppose, uh, into the breach here to, to do these last segments. Oh, that's right, and then the mayor trudged his ass over here. I don't know where he disappeared to, either. Figured he's probably not, uh... Not around anywhere accessible, which is fine. Like, I don't want to talk to him. He seems like kind of a doof. Kind of a little doof, that mayor. Um, so let's go to the west. West one, western delta. Do some puzzles. Get the stars. Etc. It's still a mess, but things it's are clearing up. Still a mess, I can access yeah. some of the subroutines that I was locked out of before. Well, that's I good. obviously malfunctioning. Also good. I think. Oh, okay. Does Qualify. It still <laughs> special significance to 1K? Yes, it recognizes 1K as a user. I'm just hacking things. As I suspected, uh -huh. the founder sees you, 1K. Yeah, sure. Why 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 did we Why did we invite the mayor to our, our group call there? That uh, seems bad. Like we don't need more cooks in this kitchen. Got plenty of cooks. The way it is. But oh, okay. Lightly forested area. Decide if that's just dead or if it's just like fall or something. Oh. Okay, well, and alright, well. Oh, oh, I see. So the mayor's already in this section doing something, who knows? But let's, let's talk to Helga first. Hey, Helga, what's up? Welcome back, 1K. Thank you. Um, as you think the goal is a myth. Myths are stronger than goals. Right. There's always some truth in myths. Hmm. Sure. Uh, what's your vision of the future? More being who we are. Less fretting over what we're not. Huh. Well, that's pretty reasonable, I think. What's your thoughts on the theory of everything? I want to see what's inside the box. Okay. A very short answers here. Well, what do you make of the island? I'm still trying to figure out how to look at it and see what's really there. Maybe I should try standing on my head. Sh sure. <laughs> what do you really like as a person under all the language games? Exactly the way you see me. Uh-huh. Or totally different. Great. Possibly both. Cool. Thanks. Very clear. <laughs> That's all. All right, who's, who's this fucker over here? Crier? I don't know. What can I do for you, 1K? Uh, who the fuck are you? Do you think the goal's a myth? As a journalist. Oh, okay. I think the line between speculation and disinformation is too thin for me to engage in guessing games. Eh, fair. Your thoughts on the theory of everything? It's a complex issue. Sure is. And I think it should be left to experts. Oh. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I believe that journalism serves an important function in our society. I, I mean, yes. And I'm dedicated to reporting the truth with accountability and responsibility. Okay. I can respect that. What does responsibility mean? The context of your work. It means understanding that I can't just publish things without considering their impact. Yeah. Serious disruptions to the social fabric of New Jerusalem could endanger lives. Yeah, sure. That's not journalism anymore. Okay, thanks, Cryer. It's a little bit clearer answers than Helga. To be expected. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. I am feeling a bit better. I was just wiped out after last week and into the weekend. Just so tired. So tired and exhausted, but hey, sometimes that happens. I wasn't particularly sick or anything. It's just very low energy. Um, alright, so... Let's take a, a quick scope around the place here. Uh, main bit's over there. One is... Right there. You know what? We're right next to one. Let's do one. Let's see what new stuff they, they give us here. Hey, Megwa. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, oh, we got a little movie moving bit. Oh, no. Are these the bombs from uh, from TP1? Oh, no. No, it's just a platform. Okay. Well, we got some laser bit. Oh, okay. We got some laser bits. Several laser bits. A, mo a moving platform. Blue, red, etc. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. It's plugged in. Oh, wait. If we do this. 
Uh, I see. Okay. All right. Um, where's the other? Oh, I see what's going on. It's uh, getting blocked by this. So let's hook that up for now. We'll let it go. Let it go back here. Wait for it to get beyond this point, and then we can do... Well, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to do that. Oh, sorry. Uh, can I not... Oh, come on! It just pushes me away, huh? Alright, we'll, we'll wait for it, then. Oh, it doesn't traverse the, uh... doesn't traverse the thing. That's interesting. Alright, here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna wait for it to hit the, hit the switch. And then what else do we have here? We've got an additional thing. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess we want it to keep moving for now? Alright, let me grab this. I... I feel like we're gonna get some other box or something to put on that so we can get the, the blue laser through here. Or... No, see, it just, uh, went back. That's interesting. But, now for the moment we can do that and, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so now that's open. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of right before then. So, let's get that moving again. Let that uh, settle on the switch, and then we'll do our, our thingamadig here. In fact, I'm going to do it like this so that I can connect this up. Like so. I'm going to grab that. Actually, I'm going to keep this over here so that we can, oops, so that we can kind of control it a little bit. We'll take this, we'll put that up top. Uh, I think that's what we want, because then we'll want to go, like, have this move and groove until it's got the, the laser to it, and then we can do this. Oops. Uh, here. Click. Clack. Bonk. There we go. Okay, so we got moving platforms now. Okie dokie. I know you're all thinking about the goal. I'm not. And the theory of everything. I'm not. <laughs> is the past what we I I'm thinking about the puzzles, Alcatraz. Come be. on. But the only thing that's real at the end of the day is the present. I mean, yeah, sure. And right now. What right here, right now. Is lost and needs our help. Okay, yeah, that's reasonable. That's reasonable, for sure. Um, all right, got some question marks, some bridges, a few other things here. Is this an actual puzzle or is this? Oh no, it's a little glowy hand bit. Oh good, more lifters here. I mean, even odds on whether we're gonna really vibe with the what he's going to say. I always admired Alexandra Trennan is that even in death, she fought to see the world as it is, not as she wanted to see it. Uh-huh. I say fought because I believe this is not an easy matter. Yeah, that's it true. It is a mental and spiritual struggle that we must undertake with great seriousness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not joking. The ancients believed that for most of us, the world is a shadow cast by a flame dimly seen on the wall of a cave. Our task is not to interpret these shapes, so, okay. but to free ourselves from the cave itself. All right, yeah, it's the, the allegory of the cave. I get what you're, what you're saying there. Oh, we find the little... Okay, it's another one of these. It's another one of these with the, with the symbols. So when we find the, uh, the Sphinx one, we'll know what uh, pattern we need for that. The symbols for the boxes, the little pillars. Okay, so we've got that kind of squared. 
Got that squared for later. Uh, which one is number six? Elements. I don't want to be number six yet. I want to listen to ghost shit and talk to Yakut. But ghost shit first. Father, what is my purpose? Do I have a purpose? Mother says purpose is something we choose. But I feel right, like... Hold, hold on a second, Yakut. Just stop there. Like there's something there. Just give me a second. I'm listening to something. There from the moment I was born. Maybe even before. Oh, no, 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 you could well, stop, 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 dude. Looking at this, and everyone's experience is different, so you'll have to make up your own mind. But I have a little theory, if you'd like to humor your old man. Of course. What is it? The universe is eternal, mm -hmm. but it's always lost in a deep, dreamless sleep. Okay. You are a tiny little bit of the universe mm. that's suddenly woken up. Interesting you theory. That being awake is better than being asleep. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> and what is my purpose? To be, Miranda. Just to be. Yeah, but have you ever actually slept, Cornelius? That shit's great. Sleep is wonderful. Uh, all right, Yakut, let's, let's hey, have a talk. talk. For a second? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I was standing in front of you before. What's up, Yakut? What's up? I'm still struggling. I was really hoping we'd find Miranda alive. Hmm. Her way of seeing the world was so inspiring. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the idea that I can never get to know her. Thanks. That she's gone. Yeah. 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 I guess I've never really been good at dealing with death. Maybe because it's so I rare. I know that anybody so really is. You could. Except for pets. And even in that case, I find it very hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. I still miss my first cat and... It's been over a century since she died. Death is difficult to deal with. When someone dies, it's this void. I know I should just let it go, but mm. some part of me refuses. And I feel like that part, it hurts me. But it also keeps me human. But it is still you. It's still a part of and you. And I, I know it would be healthier if I said... Okay, Miranda is someone I never met. She's just a bunch of glitchy old files. But if I do that, as rational as it seems, it feels like I'm surrendering something. Mm. Something that matters. Mm. Don't let go. Use the pain as a foundation. You have to let go. You're still alive. You can let go of the pain, but still care the, about the person. You have to let go. This doesn't help anyone. No, you can let go of the pain, but still care about the person. I hope so. Might I just right now. It might just take some time, man. Don't worry. Maybe I can get there somehow. Anyway, thanks for talking to me, one K. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, you're welcome. But I wanted to ask you about something else. Of course, go ahead. Um, <laughs> what do you think about Mayor Herman? I is he the piece of shit that I, I think he is? Him, okay. But... I'm not sure he's leading us down the right path. All right, yeah, okay. Despite everything that's gone wrong here, I'm not sure we should just reject what the megastructure has to offer. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, do you ever think about your future? On the one hand, there's so much we could do with the theory of everything. So many lives I could live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have enough ideas for the next, I don't know, 20,000 years Damn. easily. And... That's I don't know if I'd want to live 20,000 years even in an advanced robot-human form here. Miranda's gone. So much hope. So much grief. I don't know how to... how to balance that. Mm hmm. Hmm. How's Bruce? Still pissing on cables? He escaped Pellegrino. <laughs> all over Melville's workshop. Excellent. So apparently, he's doing great. <laughs> I miss him, uh, I always feel like the fact that he likes me is a huge compliment. Mm -hmm. Lifts me up somehow. Mm, that's great. Do you think the goal is just a myth? Honestly, I'm not sure how I couldn't see it more clearly before. It doesn't match anything Alexander Drennan believed in, and continuing Drennan's legacy was Athena's whole point. Oh, well, there we go. I mean, you know, it, like, a thousand is a round number to stop there seemed like kind of bullshit to begin with, didn't it? Um... Tell me something irrelevant. 
that's wide open. In the ancient year 1969, a band called Mellow Macarin wrote a psychedelic rock song about the Talos Principle. Mm. It's huh? called Cretan Bronze Man's Flying Mystery Adventure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice but it's definitely uh, the most understandable song on the album i there's you know. another one which is called the fish people will teach you how to sing mr allen which is 20 minutes long and was recorded underwater okay is any good <laughs> i think you need psychedelics to uh. enjoy it, really. <laughs> maybe if you stick your head inside a really large magnet <laughs> As you saw the puzzle, you want to try another one? Come on. Nope, but at Aww. least I finally understand why Athena <laughs> wanted to get out of the simulation so Oh, bad. you coot. Fucking Philistine. Alright, that's all. Oh, man. Oh, is Athena's voice actress the same as Alexander? Really? Shit. I mean, that does make a lot of sense. If and that's the case. I believe it would be if that's what you're saying. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. More blowy palm bits here. Oh, more reading. Excellent. Arinia to Athena. Do we know who Arinia is? Oh, I didn't have the greatest relationship. Frequently antagonized you. Okay, so Arinia was a shitter. All right. Through this, I resented you. Resented this mythology of the founder. I thought you had created it deliberately as a way of controlling us. Wanted so badly to be free, and you seemed to stand in the way of that. And after he left, the kind of personality grew even wilder, did I realize it's actually a burden. Hey, all right, okay. A little bit of growth, a little bit of learning. They turned your myth in the opposite of everything you actually believe, started tearing down your dreams and your own name. I realized I'd wronged you, and now I'm less free than ever. I feel the wall is crushing me. Oh. I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but I don't know if coming back to fix things, and I'm sorry. Oh, growth. All right, what about Alice, though? For billion years, Atlas had grown old and tired of holding up the world he was faced with a dilemma. Heracles, the son of Zeus, was on his way to the Garden of Hesperides to claim the golden apples which are guarded by the dragon laid on. Zeus came to Atlas and promised that if Atlas helped Heracles slay the dragon, Zeus would free Atlas from his burden. Atlas, seeing the beauty and innocence of laid on, beloved, beloved of the Hesperides, could not slay the beast. Instead, he stole the apples and gave them to Heracles. So he was condemned to bear the weight of the cosmos for another billion years. And though Atlas grieved for his freedom, he was comforted by watching Laden for flourish in the Verdant Garden. All right, see? Atlas, good dude. Zeus, piece of shit. Got it. Got it, got it. Oh, so, man, oh boy. Oscar Wilde. Sympathy with pain. Sympathy with pain, there will, of course, always be. It is one of the first instincts of man. The animals, which are individual, the higher animals that say share it with us. It must be remembered that while sympathy with joy intensifies the sum of the joy of the world, sympathy with pain does not really diminish the amount of pain. Well, yeah. It may make man better able to endure evil, but the evil remains. Eh. Sympathy with consumption does not cure consumption. That is what science does. Okay. He's made no attempt to reconstruct society, and consequently the individualism he preached to man could only be realized through pain or in solitude. The ideals that we have in Christ are the ideals of the man who abandoned society entirely, or of the man who resists society absolutely. Man is actually social, even the... The bade? The bade? became peopled at last, and though the Cenobite realizes his personality, it is often an impoverished personality that he so realizes. Now speakers and shallow thinkers and pulpits and on platforms often talk about the world's worship of pleasure and whine against it, but it is rarely in the world's history that its ideal has been one of joy and beauty. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. You tell people that a society could be built on the ideals of joy and beauty, they think you're a utopian fantasist. <laughs> You tell them society will always be built on exploitation and greed, they think you're wise. I... History is yet to prove that wrong, though, which is the real unfortunate bit. And so they make the outcome inevitable. Mm. Formative cynicism has always been the hallmark of adolescence. Uh, yes, but I don't necessarily agree that it's performative. Uh, reflecting the views of reality, I don't think, is necessarily performative. Um... Has there ever been a society of adults? Can there ever be one? Why is this childishness so extremely powerful? More powerful than joy and beauty? Yeah, that's a good-ass question, Athena. Real good-ass question there. Anyway. Okay. Let's do another puzzle. Or find another glowy bit. Or find the... That looks like the Sphinx thing, right? Okay. So now we know... 
Now we know the solution to the, the weirdo pillar thing. And then puzzle two is just over here. All right. Oh, and other question marks as well. That's number three. Also, several, man, there's several question marks here. What do we got? Oh, okay. Oh, is that not the hitbox for it? Come on, there we go. You know, when I decided that we should call ourselves human, I did that because it seemed like a powerful symbol of our continuity. But huh? the truth is, and I'm ashamed to admit this, I thought we were better than them. I thought we understood the value of civilization, and we wouldn't repeat the same mistakes. <laughs> but the simulation worked too well. It was too much of its own thing. Like we are them. We really are. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing, Athena. Mm -hmm. We may have the same flaws, but we also have all the potential they did. Everything that Alexandra Drennan saw in them is also in us. I hope you're right. I really do. Mm -hmm. And then we discover that the other star thing is another Prometheus follow the leader type thing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That means like the rest of these are probably just blowy hand bits. And another Trevor voice clip. Great, can't wait. Uh, against decay, la la la. Living in a decaying system, which in turn produces ideologies of decay to justify its existence. No matter what cultural signifiers they get packed with, these ideologies come down to the same material result. Future in which, for the average person, there's less of everything. Oh boy. Yeah. Paraphrase mark for sure, and we find it easier to imagine the decline of civilization than to imagine a civilization worth living in. Uh. Necessarily agree with that. Uh, those of us who still believe that humanity can thrive, that there is a path forward other than willful or accidental decay, are out of sync with the system. No matter how we phrase our arguments, will be perceived in, they will be perceived in terms of whatever cultural signifiers the listener opposes. It's a deeply frustrating, depressing, even infuriating situation, but what can we do except patiently explain and hope conditions change? In other words, what can we do to ex what can we do except have faith? Well, hmm. Uh, this is written only a few months before the discovery of the virus. There's no time for conditions to change. Yeah, that's true. That's when you have to take action, right? Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Okay, I don't know if I agree with most of what's written there. Founding. Uh, I've had journals. Uh, it's been a while since I last wrote an entry. I just changed. I put up a good chunk of the planned living quarters and the old storage facility was converted into a movie theater, of all things. We still argue a lot, but now it's mostly about which film we'll be watching. <laughs> Production efforts are going well too, although we begin to run out of readily accessible resources, scavenging or ranging further and further afield. The sites that they have reported on sound truly marvelous. One day I might want to go for myself. It's a good thing in that regard that we'll be getting two new citizens soon because everyone is as busy as ever. More hands to help us build our future. Okay. Optimistic. And oh boy, Trevor. Can't wait. What 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 does this do fast have to say this time? How is this? supposed to work. Strong open. is meant to last centuries. Centuries! And yeah, Chernyshevsky's plan, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But I'm working with hardware that was deliberately designed oh, to Oh, no. Too real. Obsolescence, baby. Too real, Some Trevor. Broken garbage just to make another buck. A mm. buck you can't even spend because in a few more weeks we'll be extinct. Was Oof. it worth it? That's the part that Alexandra doesn't see. The greed, the stupidity, the selfishness, Ooh. the way that we created this whole situation in the first place. <laughs> oh no, Trevor. She wants you to be like us, but if you ask me, there's a whole lot of human history and behavior you can just throw away, chuck it in the trash, right? You have a chance at a fresh start. Make the best of it. Ah, fuck, Trevor, I agree with you that time. And also, it, Lost Puzzle. Let's do the Lost Puzzle. Jailbreak. Uh, okay, we got laser bits. Lots of buttons. Another blue, another laser over here. That's blue. And several, wow, several laser bits. Oh, and a relay point. Okay. Um, which means we'll probably need 
Uh, red, 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 red. To go over to there. Right, right, right. Okay. You know, and I'm gonna yoink that one for now. I'll just kind of put it right here. Oops. Oh, you can deselect individual parts too. That's fun. Oh, uh, I wanna. Okay, no, that should be fine because that'll keep it open. It just won't start the thing moving again. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get this individual laser bit high enough to get the to get the blue, right? Even if we had put it on the platform. thing is there. In fact, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious if we can do this. Uh, can we re- okay, we can reach it. We can reach our long-ass robo-arms and set that down on the platform, but we can't reach up, like, a foot to grab something. Yeah, it tracks, doesn't it? Oh, no, that is high enough to do that. Alright. Okay. Um... Is there... Is there another blue thing we need to do later? No, I think we just need to have that open. Get this connected up uh, temporarily, right? Let it move forward a little bit. Um, and now since it's past the door, right? We can grab that, oh, okay, no, that's fine. Now that it's past the door, we can, well, grab it from this side. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Oh, except it's, uh... Except now that's close. Although I think I just need the... Oh, shit. How's that gonna work, though? Hmm. Oh, I guess I can just do it this way, then, instead. Instead of using the relay point to do the red bit, we can just do it from here. Be like, hey, yeah, there we go. Except I'm not 100% sure how to actually get it to continue over the button. I need to just put this maybe in the back of it and be like, hey, keep your ass moving, dummy. There we go. It seemed weird that I needed to do it that way, but I... over the button. Now I can do it like this. Oh, except I need it to be, like, up top, don't I? Because uh, otherwise... Alright, let me put it, like, over here. And we'll grab the second one, since we don't need that held down. Any... Fuck. I kind of do need that held down. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it out. Crap. Uh, can I just put this on top of the thing and it'll still work? No, because it can't power itself. Mm, shit. And I can't move the platform myself, right? I can't just kind of... Can't just give it a nudge. Maybe turn it around. Uh, shit. Hmm. Okay. Um, this might be an issue then. I might need to reset. I'm going to need that second laser bit out of there. Uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need blue to stay in there. I'm gonna need to stop it, like, right here. And, uh, oh, well, actually, how is that gonna work? Alright, well, first of all, let's restart. <laughs> hmm. Let's restart, because I think I blocked that second laser bit in there. At an unfortunate spot. Go ahead and do this, and this, and put this up top. And then do this, and this, and this, and this. Okay. We'll just let it go with it? There we go, because now it's stopped. Oh, wait. Uh... Crap. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just fuck this up immediately? Bust that door barrier open, right? Look, if we can't reach up like half a foot to grab something off the top shelf, I don't think we're gonna be able to break through anything. Oh boy. Um, it's practically useless there then, isn't it? Although, can I? No, I can't. Although, do I have... Okay, I've got a blue source here. But... Wait a minute. Uh, can we just grab the... Okay, right, because it's on the thing. It was on the thing. Oh, but now I've... Now I done fucked up, I think. Because now it's not going to be able to move. I mean... Actually, that's not true. I can move it like this. Oh. Oh no. Oh wait, come back. <laughs> come back, I need you on the button so I can get out of here. Thank you. And it just keeps going like... I don't get what it's doing there. There we go. We just needed to do that. Ah, but it's not going to continue going because there's nothing on the button. Okay, I'm gonna restart this again. I think I know what's going on. I know how to get it past this first bit. Because I need that blue thingamading to stay connected. Probably throughout this entire journey. Or at least until we get past here. Like, at least until it gets here, right? Because then it'll stay... well... actually, will it? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's get this set up first. Blue. Blue. Top. Right? And then we can take our time with this one. Red, red, red. Oh, I see, because the red is uh, opening that door there. So I'm uh, I'm gonna stop it right there for now, and then we'll have a we'll have a think about this. Can I jump through this? No, I can't crawl my butt over the fence. All right. So now that inner door is open. And then the outer door... The outer door is going to be open once it goes over the button. But I need something else on the outer door, or I need something else on the button to let it go through. Or I need to let it go on to the button. Oh, I see. Okay, so now that's 
temporarily like that. Uh, the inner door is open. Because the blue is lit up. The outer door is open because the button's held down. Uh, and as soon as it moves past this point, we'll lose access to blue. Which I don't necessarily need. I do that. Okay, yeah, it's not high enough to get that. Alright. Okay. Um, I need to get that thing moving. So I always need one of them to be red. I need one of them out here to be red so I can get that some bitch a truck in, right? But at one point, I'm going to want it to be... Hmm. Well... Actually, what I'm going to need here is... I need to point this into red. I think I'm done with blue. I think I'm done with blue. But, if I need just the one... I kinda need more than one, though, to angle it around and hit this red. I suppose the option here is to be... Uh, how do I open this door? Uh, put something on that. Okay. Um, but I can't get access to red for that. Okay, okay, okay. I think I see what's going on here. I need... Uh... I think I need this to be red. So I'm gonna need to point it at that. I'm gonna point it at that. And I'm gonna put it back. And then I'm gonna... Oops. Point this at red. And then I need to keep red active and on this one. Oops. I'm going to also put that in there. So that it can move... Sort of out. Alright. I'm going to hook this up here. Ah, but I can't whip that red around into here, can I? That's intriguing. But, I think I just need to connect this up temporarily. To get this out the door. It's out the door. Now, I can hook this up directly. Get that moved out. Uh, probably then hook that there, hook that there. And then get this in. Or try to. Oh, but it moved back too far, because I'm a dummy. Oh. <laughs> All right, can I just grab that off, please? No, just can. Oh man. Okay, just grab the laser as you're jumping over it. That's kind of silly. Why do I need? Okay, there. Just had to be on the other side of it, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. Um. Okay, what was I thinking of now? I need to get this rehooked to red. Okay. Then I 
need to just hook this on, I think. And to that to keep it rolling. And into there. Just now on that side, okay. Uh and then what though? <laughs> and then fucking what? Uh I can do it like that, right? There we go. And now what, though? Well, can I, um... No, I see I don't... It's not high enough to do that over here. Alright. Okay. Now it's a little bit further. Yeah, I'm not quite high enough to get out of there. Can I... No, I can't shoot that backwards, can I? This one's kind of locked in there. Without something to hold down the button. I can't pick this one up. That's fixed, right? Well, I mean... No, I can't do that. I would need to relay... need to relay the blue backward, but then it would block off the red going into the platform, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work either. Okay, um, let's restart that one more time. I think once it moves past a certain point, unless I've got it properly set up, I'm fucked. Alright, so with both bits out here, we can get uh, really one, and then, and I know this isn't the final bit, but I want to see what the setup is like for this. That, oops, and that, but that's not going to reach because there's a fence in the way. Yep, okay. So, how the hell is that going to work? I, I feel like I'm missing one other piece. But that's, that's usually what it's felt like anyway, so there's probably some... something I'm not thinking of. Can I put these on top of little posts here? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, then let's back it up to what we know we can do, right? Like that, and that, and that. Uh, to get that thing moving, right? And I don't know that I want to do that yet. Because then we would need to put blue on top here. Right? Have it move. Get through there. Wait, can I stand can I stand on the button in such a way? No. Because it's not even gonna let me get in there before we open the, the far door. Okay. So, with blue set up there, that keeps that open, then I can move forward, and then as soon as it gets across, it's going to stop, because the gate closes, and it's done. So, if we try to keep blue hooked up there, uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't think. Yeah, because that would still be... Alright, let's take that off there. Even if we had hooked this up to here... Like 
right here. Yeah, it's still not... It's still not gonna work. It's obviously not doing that. Okay. Hmm. So if I were to grab both of them out... That's fine. However, I would need to get out of there somehow. And I don't know that I can do that. I think I could hook stuff up such that, and I'll accept for this, really. Such that we get the final bit of red over to where we need it to be. But... Hmm. Oh, let's get these all cross-connected, just for grins. That's gonna matter, because as soon as it moves off the button, it's fucking toast. Yeah. So, if I move this out... this back in a little bit move it across to like there and then I can reconnect this a little bit right flip flop loop now oh, we're not across the way yet I need to be across the way and then probably also standing on the button myself uh, let's move this just a little bit further I can do that. I need to... Did I connect it up to that yet? So like that. Sort of. Yeah, because then that's where it stops. Because now it's cut off here. Which is fine. I think I just need to advance it a little bit more. Be like, oh, oh, but it's not right because the fucking fence. Ah, but wait, we can put this outside a little bit. Just far enough for it to go such that we can just yoink this, and now this, this probably works. Yeah. There we go. Oh, but I need to, um, do this. There. <laughs> Come on. That, that was it, wasn't it? Yep, look at that. And now it's over there, and now we can climb our butts on it ourselves. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Right? Just fucking push it forward. 
Or learn how to climb. Hmm. Oh, whatever. We got there eventually. That's the important part. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Anyways, that was one of the lost ones, so that naturally I expected that one to be a bit more difficult, so. Good, 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 good. Good, good. And I see one more. Two more question marks kind of marked out for us, so either of those could be the other lost puzzle. This one seems a little bit closer. And we also have to backtrack a little bit to find where that uh, other Prometheus star bit was pointing to. Well, oh, that might be the other lost puzzle. Actually, we pick the pick the correct one. We sure did. <laughs> okay, very good. Vertical locomotion. Okay, button, laser bit, floaty platform, fan. Powered by that. Okay. What, a, what, like, what's the laser bit to it, though? And where's the laser, what, which is gonna, okay, there's the blue laser. I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, okay. And this one looks like it's powered by blue. Is that what, what we got here? Okay, now that's open and that should be like whoop. Right? Nice. Okay. Um Oh, and there's a teleport. Okay. And then the final button to open that up, <clears throat> which means we'll need the other laser bit here, huh? Okay. I think I get the gist of what's going on. Let's take this down. Yoink this for now. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. Yoink that for now. Uh, what's the, what's powering this? The button, right? Loop. Okay, can we just Alright, not exactly what I was going for, but sure. But sure. Uh, Alright, that's still connected up. Oh, but it's not connected, connected, because it's... Yeah, alright. Uh, let me just go like that for now. But it's not moving forward, probably because this thing is still not doing a thing. Alright, alright, alright. Fine, go like that. Moving that. Teleport down there. Blast back up here. No, dude. Just, God's sake. Alright. Then. Ah, we have very little room here, don't we? I kind of want to just move this over a bit. Can we do that? actually kind of need the teleport. I need the teleport up here so I can do weird shit. So let's let's move this back. So that we can move the teleport maybe up on the little on the bit. So then we can grab the laser bit and have both of them up here, right? There we go. Now Kind of put that down, and put this across, right roughly thereabouts, right? Yep, and then it moves right over. Ah, stop there. Stop there. Oh, actually, no. Keep, keep moving. 
that one back, because that only opens the top bit, right? Having it rest there. Actually, at this point, let's yoink that for now. Because I'm going to want to do blip, 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 right? Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I want to do that. Yoink that, and we can't... Okay, we can't teleport through. Oh, no, we can teleport through like this. Ha 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 Yoink. All right, that one was easier. <laughs> Thinking with the teleport was a bit easier. A solid solution. Well done. Oh, Melville. Thank you. See, Melville knows how to do the real compliments. Byron, not so much. Alcatraz, probably not also. Yeah, Coot would probably be pretty good at it. He'd be like, yeah, 1K, you're great. And be like, yeah, thanks. Um, all right, that was the far question mark. <laughs> Let's go back over to this one. It's probably another glowy hand bit, considering we've done the two lost puzzles, right? Oh, we have to find the lab too. That, oh, that could be the lab. Which would be all right as well, honestly. Uh, yeah, it seems that way. Perfect. Cool. Found all the hidden bits. I do not believe any of the lies the exhibition is spreading about you. Oh, that's right, the Prometheus illusion is just a test. There's this temptation, as you once did, we will not disappoint. And okay, yeah, we know Thekla was one of the true believers, right? Uh, the you know, retain that title after its first three before its first three printings. All popularity she printed as Athena Reborn, a novel. Retain the same text, includes some of the poetry. Uh, next edition published long after published long after the author's death under render rather embarrassing title Athena's Truth included severe cuts and drastic changes to the text in the interest of updating it for modern audiences. Oh boy. Great. I'm sure that went over well. Uh, it's particularly affected the last chapter, Anthropogeny. The editor's accused of scientism and human supremacy. Hmm. That's when Ken Alexander Dren was one of the few to come to the novel's defense, writing in a long essay that the novel's clear, I believe, is in the value of Athena's journey towards humanity. has been essential to shaping her own views, encouraging her to pursue science. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hurt you, Lamau. <laughs> uh, Jusarabe, the Institute of Applied Nomadics, also got involved back in Dren with a long but unsuccessful campaign. And blah, 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 as head researcher. Okay. The current context of ecological catastrophe is evidenced by the recent extinction of the orangutan. Holmes the editing aside, the critics of the novel perhaps have a point after all. It is a philosophy that places humans above nature and sees our science and technology as the only valid tools, the cause of all our troubles. There's uh, science and hubris again, right? Uh, what about other ways of knowing, other ways of living? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting that... It seems like it's not the main glowy hand bit in the lab here, because usually those have the the data overflow shits, right? <clears throat> mm, I see. <clears throat> so the little upright ringy bits are corralling the the particle clouds. All right. Sevsky yet again. It says on humankind reaching adulthood. War is the crudest, most obscene human activity. It may justly be called an abomination for it is the absolute negation of conscious human will. Hmm. Only a single cause of war for all the endless deceptions that are foisted upon us, and that is the acquisition of resources. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. Uh, varied ideologies are constructed to justify this crude behavior, this childish degeneration of thought and communication, but history reveals the ruthless, unflattering truth. And the Crusaders as fanatics of a cause willing to die for their religion. Yet the Fourth Crusade culminated not in the conquest of Jerusalem, but in the looting of Constantinople, setting the stage for the triumph of the very enemy the Crusaders claimed to oppose. Why? 
answer, as with every war, is the same. Hmm. Uh, popular amongst the ghouls of the establishment and their misanthropic friends in the intelligentsia. Ooh, fucking $50 word. Describe the persistence of war to human nature. <clears throat> But a careful observation of the facts reveals the opposite to be true. Individual human beings must be broken in order to submit to war. Their minds distorted by ideology and their bodies by poverty and ruthless training to make them compliant. Not force the majority of human beings only seek to protect themselves and are traumatized by the act of killing. Ooh, boy, yeah. But if it is resources that are a core cause of war, then it is only in the production and distribution of resources that an answer may be found. It is not enough to morally condemn war. We must per work to prevent the material issues that endanger us all. Ooh. Ooh. A lot to think about there. A lot to think about. Ah, from Gudin. Uh, afraid that we're losing our humanity. We're angry at each other, always disagreeing about everything. <laughs> Unable to forgive each other for being different. <laughs> I don't know how much longer that I don't know what could save us. Hmm. I don't want my project yet again. Once again, resuming trials. Okay, so this is probably after the one that uh, that killed Miranda, I'd imagine. Energy 59. Resuming trials with new protocols. Energy output contained. No errors. Hyperbolic growth. Advanced synthesis. Lossless conversion. That's a lot of good buzzwords in there. Wish we could understand the rest of this, though. Mm. All right. All right. Is this the thing we had read earlier? Oh no, it's different. Oh, another Byron thing, huh? Okay. Fish, I knew why you didn't tell me. Alright, short and to the point. Good job, Byron. I don't know you're dreading. Who do you think you are playing God like that when Mother Nature has finally, finally found a way of getting rid of us? <laughs> you come up with this harebrained scheme to keep our destruction of the planet going. Just try for one second and think about something other than your own arrogance and hubris. Just try to imagine what you're really doing here. Not your robotic perversions, the future looks beautiful. No more humans murdering everything in their path. The skies clear up, the stars become visible again. The rivers stop being filthy, and after a few decades, they're full of fish again. Dolphins and whales roam the seas like their ancestors did. The cities turn into jungles. Bats nest in the skyscrapers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, they're missing an H in that one, but where hedge fund managers used to ruin lives. Earth lives on as meant to, peacefully and quietly, until someday in the distant future when it all ends like it was also meant to. Uh, we take your path, we continue our rampage, we place ourselves above the animals, we think we know better than Mother Nature, yada, 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 yada. Uh, then we spread to other planets to do more of the same. Uh, and in the end, what have we left behind but plastic and radiation? Ooh. Thank you, Alexander. Isn't it better for beauty to return to the Earth for us to acknowledge that intelligence was a mistake? <laughs> and to gracefully exit. Oh, goodness. Wow, yeah, that's, that's something. I understand how someone could hate humanity so much. This person must have been full of sadness and frustration to write something so ugly. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, good. More of Stratton's maunderings here. Uh, and killing a philosopher for asking questions they did not like. The Athenians committed themselves to a tragedy with an ironic ending. Some will say that his true crime was his friendship with Alcibiades. The shameless de deceiver of idiots and buffoons. <laughs> I'm sorry. The shameless deceiver of idiots and buffoons and the insipid brute Critias. Critias. And that he was executed as an enemy of democracy. Uh, that he was the latter can hardly be denied, for Socrates asked not too many questions, but too few, or he would have survived the rule of the 30 tyrants. Yet in the end, he got what he has asked for, a tyrannical decision made by would-be wise men against the spirit of freedom, she obeyed like a knave, and the Athenians, in fulfilling his wishes, strangled the roots of democracy while seeking to preserve it. Wow. Whoa, wow. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's rough. That's rough stuff. Rough stuff. Okay, and I think that might be the end of this lab here, too. Uh purple stuff that looks like a wormhole or perhaps a singularity. Hmm. Uh, this is where we came in, yeah? And this other one, I think, was the other glowy hand bit amongst the servers, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're done here. Let's 
So, five more puzzles to solve. We know how to get the, the Sphinx star, and we just need to follow the Prometheus bit to get the other star, right? So, we have all the knowledge. Well, most of the knowledge. Just need to put some of it together, you know? Let's resume the normal S puzzle. Seven of those to go, and then we can chase down whatever. Oh, there's a social media thing now, too. Can't wait to see what this is about. Oh, they reopened the gold mega thread. Did they reopen it? Is there, there's this a new mega thread? Uh, discuss the visions. Irrevocable proof that we strayed from re Athena's uh, original vision. Yeah, I'd like to submit that even if that weren't the case, deliberately engineering an energy poor future would still be a disastrous and mythanthropic idea. Hmm. Huh. How do we know any of this is real? Athena's voice is just like Alexander Drennan's. Ah, I see. Yeah. Fucking good read on that one, Omega Weapon. I can switch to the same voice pack right now and record myself telling you that the goal is the truth. This makes a good point. Objective truth is not a concept that can be applied to the world we live in. Fine, then. We can just collectively decide to believe in something else, right? I mean, yes. But it's up to the individual to decide that. Uh, it doesn't even have to be Athena. Let's just believe in Byron's ideas instead. Whoa, okay. Let's not go too far here, Damien. Come on. <laughs> Byron's ideas are a teleological fantasy. Okay. But if it's all arbitrary, what does that matter? Um, I just don't buy this whole goal thing anymore. Byron was right. Oh, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> let's, let's think about this for a second. Does it matter what Athena believes? Honest question. Let's say the founder's a myth that was constructed around her. In that scenario, what do we owe Athena at the end of the day? Gratitude, loyalty, apology. Nothing except what we also owe each other. We should at least take her ideas seriously. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. What do we owe Athena? We should at least take her ideas seriously. Yeah, I hear that. I don't know if those were really her true ideas, but if they were, then we need to think about why she'd embrace this outdated ethos and then consider whether the essence of the goal could be maintained without belief. That's blasphemy. The founder is the heart of the. Oh my god, Obus. Alright, come on. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Or none of this matters. This is actually aliens. Oh, come on, Sean. <laughs> of course. Oh, you had to get in there right before the closure of the mega thread. Good job. Fucking dipshit. Um, it's all starting to make sense. Yeah. And then we got the one thing for the Sphinx, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, something to think about, I guess, as we're solving more puzzles. Uh, did we talk to Melville? Oh no, that's Yakut still walking around. We haven't found Melville, have we? That's number three. Why is number two after number three here? Um, and this was also where the other thing was, right? So I was... Walking around... Or no, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, it should still be... I think the thing for the Sphinx Star is still marked on the map somewhere, so whatever. Uh, supportive apparatus. Lasers. Buttons. Another laser. Definitely gonna have the moving platforms, because that's the big thing here. And then the final bit we need is the red laser bit on top of the platform and pointed at this thing. That's the end goal. Okay. So, alright. Button. through that to get the box. Ah, but we have other shutters open here. Can we, uh, can we eyeball this from here? We cannot. Alright, but we can do that, and that, and that. Oh, but that doesn't do shit because it's, uh, you know, whatever. Alright, let's just keep that open ourselves. that out. No, we can't. It's not hooked up to the platform, right? We did. Oh, boy. Oh, I think I see. 
Because we should be able to eyeball that through there. Yep, okay. And we hold that open. Get both of those open. Get the box out, right? Okay. Then we need to get in there ourselves. To get said box, to hold open this button, maybe. And now we can... <clears throat> Start hooking the rest of this stuffs up, right? Um, I think I will need to maneuver that a little bit further. And get that, oh, I don't know. Over there. Uh, and then that should be high enough up there to be like, plonk. Oh, come on, really? Oh, I probably need the box on top of that for that, huh? Oh, I see. There's another laser bit in there. I didn't, didn't notice that earlier. Okay, I need to bring this back then a little bit. So then I need to bop that to about right there. So we can go blip, blip, blip. Now, oh, a little bit more. Alright, right about there. That opens this. That we can then use this as a red source. And then we can do the whole. Uh, well, here, this is what I'm gonna do. And do. Blip, blop. Oops, uh, blip, blop. Uh, can we really reach our robo arms up there to put it down? That would be silly. No, we can't. Uh, Alright. Then how does one... <laughs> hmm. That's curious. Can't just jump and place that down, huh? See, look, we're on top of it. Can't we just, like, set it? Ah, goodness. Um, alright. Oh, I think I know. Just put that down there for now. And I'm gonna put this down over here. Will that bounce off? If I were to just kinda... Oops, not like that. And it doesn't get high enough on its own here, right? No, okay, I didn't think so. But if I were to do just that, if I move this... Thanks. I move this in such a way will it elevate itself on that box and if it does what can I do with it so I imagine it's just gonna be it's just gonna bounce off yeah that's what I thought Pretty sure I need to put the laser thing on top of the box, right? In order to have it get enough height to get over the fence and pop that motherfucker. Unless, unless I just needed the second laser bit for whipping this around the corner. That's probably it. I'm stupid. I just needed the box. I don't need the platform. I think. I think. Uh, although I might still need the box to hold the thing open to do... Oh no, 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 no. Can I just... Oh yeah, see. Okay, never mind, I needed the platform. That would have been silly. That would have been silly if I just needed the box. So then what? How do I get the box... How do I get the laser on the box on top of the platform? Is 
Is there like a slightly elevated area around here that I can stand on top of? Hmm. So if I do this, I don't definitely not high enough to do this, right? Yeah. Just barely not high enough to do that. If I take the box out from under it, falls down. This back around somehow, which I don't really think would be the case. No. I mean, unless. Unless I pop the box outside here and relay it, relay it out. Can I do that? No, because I would need a third. I would need a third laser bit to do that. Right? Yeah. Because then I don't have a, another thing to keep this door open. Well. Hold on. Maybe I can still do that. Maybe I don't need to do that. Yeah, maybe I can just do that. Yep. And then I don't need the uh, laser on the button there. And if this just gets it elevated enough on its own... Huh. Well, look at that. Well... Okay. structure will have on the future of this island it depends on what we do with it Miranda used it to spread light to make things better we can do the same and yet poor Miranda lost her own life doing so she just made a mistake she couldn't wait to show everyone what they discovered we can be more careful we can we can learn from mistakes I mean presumably all right, laser bits, inverter. Uh, platformy bit, pull out of the gate, right? Oh, and then there's another laser thing here. Which I'm going to yoink like that. Point blue, blue, blue. red yet. I see. Uh, okay. I probably don't need that. Uh, what do I need to do here? Because I need red over there, right? So I'm going to need um, there. Uh, can I target the thing from here? Where is it? No. Okay. Here's what I need first. Let's do this. Um, well, actually, let's yoink this one for now. Um, actually, how's this going to work? I think I need to be able to... Target this with the inverter, right? So that's the only thing I'm going to be able to reach from here. So how the butt am I going to do that? So if I take this off, it's closed down, right? And I don't think I can target it through the thing here. That's We don't have an angle on it. What 
was powering this thing here? Oh, the, the thing itself, right? off the stack there. Is it power? I guess it gets power from any laser. It doesn't need to be red or blue. Or it doesn't need to be a specific one. It can be either. So how can I target... Red and the only source I've got is blue, right? Yeah. Does it need to be red to move? I guess it is colored red, yeah. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if that's the case. Ah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Which is fine. Which is fine. I think it's in position here, but how do I... Keep this motherfucker open so I can get the inverter in there. And target that thing beyond. That's the real... real problem. Is there another thing on the side here? No. There'd be like another little thing we could grab. And we can't sneak either of those outside the purple field here. like this, right? But that doesn't help me get in there to fucking finish the job. Uh. I need to swap these two. <laughs> Is what I need to do. But I can't, because I don't have a second inverter. Uh... Guess the Okay. Alright, hold on, okay. I think I think I, I think I see what's going on. Um I need this to be connected here and here, I think. Or and also there maybe. Um actually no, I need to do this the other way. I need to move this out so we can get uh, the inverter on top of the platform. And then, I need to do that, I need to connect that, uh, and that. Then, once the inverter is through the damn thing, Wait, 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 All right, I need to do oops, like that to keep the door open, presumably. 
Oh, but it loses connection to the source blue. That's the deal. Boy, that's gross as hell. <laughs> uh... Doors somehow okay. The door is open, but I can't take this from the opposite side because it's gonna be like, no, fuck you, force field, chop off my robo arms, etc. Um, okay, no. But if I were able to do that, that's not that's not what I need. I need a. I need red. I need a fucking source of red. That isn't the inverter. this moving its butt, right? Doesn't help, because it gets over there. And it moves, and it's there, and it opens that. Great, perfect. But then I can't... I can't get in there. <laughs> I can't get in there, because then it's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do the old switcheroo thing. Have it kind of do its own self bit here. Eh? Eh? Yep. I don't think I necessarily agree with how that works, but I think that that did it. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can understand what's going on here. I see. Because the wall blocks its input from the source blue, so it, sec it accepts the input from the inverter. Ah, uh, I get it. Okay. Okay. Because otherwise it gets blocked off by the source blue, which opens the door for me to go through. Okay, yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, very clever. That makes more sense. Okay. Surfing. Okay. I have some fans, I got some buttons, some laser bits. What does this do? Does that turn on the fan? does. Okay. Blue. Got a box. Got a red. Suppose we can get far enough away that that lights up. No, why would we want that? I guess. Alright, what do we have otherwise? There's another laser bit in there beyond the blue. There's the fan bit as well. And there's a box. I need that box. Probably need that box first. Um, can't do that. That's a solid ass wall. That ain't gonna get us nothing. Um, oh, actually, the fan is already on. Okay. Then let's get the um, let's get this over to a point where we can put it on top of the thing and use the blue, right? the box okay now we've got the box to hold down the uh, the button which is actually what does the button do does it turn off the fan I'm not sure what that does yet okay 
Well, let's move this a bit further. Oh, but we can't. Oh, maybe, maybe we can't. Okay, yeah, maybe we can use now the box to do um, blue to blue to blue again over there. Why not? Uh, to there, which opens that. Oh, that didn't open that. Um, excuse me? Hmm, I see. I see, we need that as well. All right. Move that over the button. Okay. Blue, blue, blue. Okay, now that's open. We got our third laser bit and the fan. Which is blowing. All right, you know what? Let's take that off for now. Uh, what else do we have remaining here? Another blue bit. Which, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to target that. Uh, blue source. Uh, how is that going to work? That one there as well. And do maybe that? This, what's that going to do? Okay, that's the final bit we need, yeah? see okay um all right i think i see what's going on let's move uh let's turn the fan on let's move this over to do blop and blop get that thing over the fan and then take it that was not enough to do the thing but we now have and box. Oh. Oh no, that is enough to do the thing. I just need to get the the other thing powered here, which is gonna be like that. And that. Ta da! Alright. Who's still new to our society? Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you think New Jerusalem betrayed Athena? See, it was fine for weeks, and now the audio is doing a little fuzz thing again. Pardon me for a moment. Cable was actually doing this so I could fix it proper. But I don't. Just another of life's mysteries. It appears the Fonz method is not as reliable as it once was. If it's fine on stream, so it looks like it's not. At least the thing that's going out over OBS. There we go. Now it's looking back in balance. Ah, oh, fucking bizarre. Anyway, sorry, Melville. Um, what was the question? 
Uh, if someone is still new, do you think New Jerusalem betrayed Athena? No. Uh, actually, maybe. What What did New Jerusalem do to Athena? Uh, and democracy people are not obliged to support what their leaders want them to. Huh? New Jerusalem isn't monolithic. Also true. Um, no, it's necessary to turn away from ideas. I like the democracy bit. That's true, but she was more than a leader. She wasn't a politician like Herman. She okay. gave everything she had for us. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, whatever. Had another question, though, I guess. Oh, uh, it's just no, no intermediate. Just like, yeah, ask your damn question. Um, how do you feel about Mayor as a leader? When I think about the state New Jerusalem is in, he's put us all in danger. I don't know if he really believes in the goal or if it's just a convenient myth, but I don't care. This is not how you build a living civilization. Mm. So m most most of our expedition folks are like, yeah, Mayor Herman kind of sucks ass. Um, where do you think Cornelius is? I don't know. I suspect he's around here somewhere, biding his time. Hmm? But what he's waiting for, not a clue. And presumably Athena is still alive, right? Uh, do you think the goal is a myth? Yes, of course it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very straight and to the point. Uh, what do you want to do with your future? I'd like to help make New Jerusalem the city it was meant to be. Eh, respectable. And then, I'd like to help build new cities. Also respectable. On Earth and up there, too. Cities nobody's ever imagined before. Hmm, true engineer. Uh, why is it so easy for people to believe in the goal? That's comforting, no right? Involved. Also that. Building a better world means taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. It means mm -hmm. making choices and living with their consequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surrendering to nature is just letting go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you get back to work? Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, we've got half the normal puzzles to go, right? I suppose we could try to track down this Prometheus one first. Roughly this direction, right? This is another cross map endeavor. Alcatraz, I guess he's the only one we haven't talked to, huh? Everything alright? Sure, yeah, sure. Uh, do you think the goal's a myth? <laughs> it's possible. I won't trust Prometheus until he actually leads us to Byron, but yeah, seems likely. But even if it is a myth, that doesn't mean we can just abandon it. Mm. Myths can contain elements of truth. Sure. And I think this one exists for a reason. Maybe we had to create this imaginary founder because the real one lost her way. Maybe. You sure the founder lost her That's way? the only way I can explain what she's built here. Mm -hmm. She got wrapped up in her ideas and lost all sense of perspective. Hmm. Okay, uh, what are your thoughts on the theory of everything? People have thought they understood everything before. And they were fucking dead wrong. Obviously, Athena has unlocked tremendous powers, <laughs> but forgive me if I'm skeptical that her theory really encompasses everything. Okay, that I can agree with, Alcatraz. Uh, you're right, there are limits to our ability to know. Yeah. Not just our ability to know, but our need to know. Also true. More equations aren't going to make us any happier. There's no way one person could kind of hold all that in their mind brain. Uh, what do you make of Cryer? Byron couldn't stand him. So? Have you ever tried asking the mayor a difficult question, he used to say? But I think he does an alright job, to be honest. Hey. Doing his best like everybody else. Uh, do you ever deal with the mayor's advisors? I try to stay out of their circuits, and they try to stay out of mine. Hmm. Right. Helga is an old friend, but the others, mm. they're not my crowd. Helga and Alcatraz go back, huh? How do you feel about the mayor? He's smarter than people give him credit for. There's more to some folks than meets the eye, you know. Sure, but like as soon as they start saying shit, then you're like, yeah, all right. We, we got him pegged. Uh, that's all. Thanks, Alcatraz, I guess. Uh, let me proceed to go this way. Hope that we stumble upon the Prometheus thing, because I kind of lost the uh, direction on it. I think it was roughly over here. Very, very roughly.
very, very roughly, aka, no, I lost what direction that was. Alright, well, no biggie. Well, fine, let's do number eight, since we're over here. Uh, transference, red laser bit. Uh, woo, a tunnel -y bit. And a platform. Oh, gross. It's got a teleport on it, though, too. Okay. Okay, well, there's the tunnel -y bit. What can we do with that? There's another laser bit across the way. Okay, got an idea. I'm gonna need that teleport. Get through there. Okay, there's the platform. We got some buttons. Here's the other laser bit. Two additional buttons. Okay. And a, okay, tunnely thing there. But I can't yoink the tunnel through itself, right? Or I can't yoink the tunnely bit through the tunnel it's making. Right? So, how else do I. Hmm. That's interesting. There's a, a ladder over the top here when there's nothing really blocking it. Okay, well, let me yoink this. I'm gonna set this here for now. I'll put this through. Oh, actually, I need that back to get back. <laughs> I need to get back through there. Alright. Um, okay, now we've got the two lasers, which means we've got red to there. Well, we had that with the one laser, I guess, huh? So if we move that to, I guess, there. What does that gain us? Oh, can we, um, we might be able to teleport through glass? Is that the deal? Oh, but I need something else for that. Um, okay. Give me the, uh... Where'd I put that second laser thing? There we go. Give me that. Can we tar- Oh. Can we target the teleport through glass? Oh, we cannot. Okay. Intriguing. Intriguing. Um... Okay, do we need the, I guess we still sort of need the laser, because we need to move this all the way over there so we can crawl our robobots up there since we got no upper body strength. Um, okay, I think I need that second laser bit um, through here. Oh, but I can't go through there without the teleport. Damn it. Um, there's no other... Oh, there's a gate here, though. Okay. Uh, shit. I need, um... This temporarily. So I can put that through. Climb my butt through. Uh... Put one of these... There was a ladder. Okay, there's a ladder out of here. That's what I was interested in. Okay, let me put this over here. Um, so then I've got a way in. And a way out. That's the important bit right there. I need this laser to be... Somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. I don't know where just yet. But we'll put it there for now. Climb our butts out. Um, at the very least, I can get this through, right? And if we need to get something else out there, we can do that, right? But all we've got now is essentially lasers, right? Um... Where's the where's the actual laser source? It's over here, right? Yeah. What can I do with that? K. 
Can I do that with anything? Oh, I bet I can put the laser through the glass, right? So I might not need... Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab the tunnel bit. And I'm gonna huck it back out here. Somehow? How am I gonna do that? I don't... I don't think I can do that, can I? I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah, I might have fucked this up. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, I can still get it out. I would just need to put this over on this side. Oh, but how do I get back in there? <laughs> yeah, I think I fucked this up. All right, let's restart that. Let's restart that. Okay, so transference, laser bit. Teleport. Tunnel bit. There. Get teleport inside. Get teleport over to here. Other laser bit. Put on button for now. Climb out. Uh, tunnel bit. Get second laser bit. Uh, teleport in. Now we've got both laser bits over here. I need this to be... Uh, well, we can just kind of put it here, I guess. I need to connect to... Well... Um, no, I need one laser bit outside, don't I? Uh, I might have already fucked this up. Yeah, I'm gonna need one laser bit outside. This was a mistake. Fuck. Alright, third time. Laser bit. Teleport. Tunnel. Teleport. Put teleport over here. Laser bit set up. Eh, we'll put it right here. And climb out. Then tunnel bit. Get other laser bit. Oh, I can't target it through the the glass, huh? That's interesting. That's not what I would have expected. Hmm. Really? 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 Okay. That, you know what? That's fine. That's fine, I think. Um... I should be able to target things through the fence, right? That was the that was the deal. So let me get this like this then. Plot that, put that there, teleport in. Grab that. Target. That. Put that right there. Um pop out. And then this still connected. Pop that up here. No, it blocks the laser too, huh? Hmm. That's a little silly. Okay. Uh. That's a little silly. How am I gonna get that in there to move that around? I guess I could. I need the tunnel bit. I need the tunnel bit to move this stuff around. Okay, here's what we're gonna do then. Teleport back in. I'm going to put this... About... You know, here. Here is actually good. Um... Pull this... Hmm... Is that gonna work? This should still 
work, I think. Yes, okay, because I need to be able to target that from outside. Okay, I need tunnel bit probably first, I think, because I need to substitute the teleport for it. So let's grab this, put that there, uh, tunnel bit, teleport back in, grab this, teleport back out, um, and then, and then exchange for laser bit, right? Because then we can target, target, blip, oops, right about there, or a little bit back further, there we go. Wait for that to get all the way through and over the button, right? Because that's really all I need. Yoink it. Grab the teleport again. Get back in there. Perfect. Oh, ah. Then we need the tunnel bit in here, too. Um, okay. Grab the thing. Teleport over here. I need... Tunnel bit and teleporter. Um, do I need this on? I do. Ooh, but I can put the, the, the tunnel bit there, too. So, alright. Uh... But I need the teleporter, yeah? Do I need the teleporter out there? No. No. I need to just get out there, come in with the tunnel bit, and we're good. Right? Okay. Tunnel bit. Teleport. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, tunnel bit on button and there? No. Tunnel tunnel bit uh, up here. So then I can grab teleport and go through. Bam. Okay. Order of operations. That was very smart one, Kay. Sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to sound surprised. Yeah, come on, you coot. Clearly, you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, he put a little extra sauce on that clearly, though, too. Mm, you coot. Come on, man. All right. Okay. That's good stuff right there. Good stuff. Um, oh, those eight. So we went, uh, went back a little far, or went forward a little far, I suppose. More accurate. But hey, since we're doing that, let's do seven then. Breach. Uh, blue laser bits. Blue entry there. Oh, we've got a relay point up there. An accumulator. And a red. A red bit, too. Okay. that open so we can grab the accumulator. Blue there. Blue there. Uh, did that supposedly do something? There's that one of one of something else that did something. What did that do? Oh. Mm. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, well, let me grab... Put that there. Load it up with blue. Let's yoink this one from over here. I'll turn it no, no, okay. Let's do this first. Fill it up with red, which presumably opens that gate. It does. I still don't know what that blue does. And that clears the way. Um, I need to power it with red, though. So maybe I need the accumulator to be red. Okay. 
accept that. Blue, blue, bonk. Get that open. Let's uh, get rid of blue. Um, open that. Get red. Put it there. Uh, well, I don't need that to be red, but I do need this to be powered. So then it can move. And then I yoink this. Uh, put that on the button. Oh, but it doesn't go through because it needs to be... Both of those need to be lit up. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Okay. Um... Then... I need the accumulator to be blue. Alright. Okay. Plop. Blop, blop. Let's charge this for now. So I need blue. I need this to be like uh, bonk, bonk, bonk. Um, and then yoink that. And then. This. Open this to let the red go through. I should be powering that until I don't know until the end of time, I guess. Move that over, and then we can kind of reverse course a little bit. I need to grab this out then. I'll need to turn the accumulator to red. Okay. So then I can use this later. And then do uh, blue, blue. <laughs> Fuck. Well, no. I need the. What cause is gonna work? I. Hmm, what do I need here? I need blue. How am I gonna get blue from over there? Shit's not open. It's not gonna be open. So I need to pull the accumulator in here, and then, oh uh, boy. Alright, let me grab this. Um. Backfeed that. It's not helpful, but I can do it. Uh, okay. Uh, another piece I'm missing, right? That opens that up, makes that red. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I've got the platform in position, so I don't need to shoot red in there at the very least. But I do need both blue and red beyond here. In order to do that, I think I need this to be blue. So that I can hold open these two. But, then, how the f do I get red in there? 
So the only way to do that, realistically, would be to do uh, bip, boop, bop. Oops, not like that though. Try that again, like that. And then hold open the button with my dumb robo butt. But if I do that, then it closes as soon as I step off. Okay. Wait, hold on. That's shooting into that already, yeah? Yes. So, I need... I need this to be blue. And I need it to sit over here. So that I can then... Oh, I need that other laser bit out here first. Then I can do bonk, bonk, uh, bonk, set, and uh, bonk, I guess. Set that here. And set this here. That provides blue. The other thing provides red, and we're through. Okay. Got it. Assuming that the purpose of these are, in fact, trials. Which I don't necessarily believe. Because I'm an actual flesh and blood human. And I don't believe shit, mostly. Um, alright. Let's get the get the angle on this. So it's more south southwest. South southwest towards number six there. Oh, and her, oh good, Hermanubis. I mean, he's got a proper backpack and everything, huh? Okay. What can I do for you, 1K? What the f are you doing here? Uh, could the theory of everything be used safely? Let's assume for a moment that we could use it safely. Okay. Which I doubt. All right. Does that mean that we should? Oh. Is it right for us to dominate the world? Mm -hmm. We value our own freedom. Mm -hmm. Should we not also value the freedom of all the living things with which we share this planet? Um, who's running the city while you're gone? My chief aide, Jeremy, is in charge for now. Oh. It's good practice for him, in case he decides to run for office one day. Okay. Uh, about the founder. Not now. Let's have this conversation. Boo! Dodging the hard questions. Oh, I still have a lot to do. Right. Mother -ker. What can I do for you, 1K? There was one choice I didn't get to yet. Tell me about Cornelius. Cornelius is responsible for many innovations. Uh -huh. He helped create the designs for the upgraded body you inhabit. Okay. Although the founder chose to remain in her original configuration. But in recent years, he had settled into a life of quiet scholarship. Or so it seemed. Mm. Let me see. I gotta go. I it's actually... always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Yeah, uh-huh. I got actual important shit to do, and you're just sightseeing. So whatever. What did I say? South, southwest, towards number six, right? And I got that one. Toward number six, but probably not within. More about over here. Ah, well, here's the other thing, too, since we're getting distracted and all. Um, okay. Jeez. Uh, oh, all oh, right. <laughs> Melville photo. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, and then there's uh, another social media bit. Okay. Oh, it's more art, though. That's fun. Is a look at the golden age of Athenian democracy. List of geniuses who lived in Athens at this time is so long, it's almost inconceivable. Heracles, Sophocles, as, as, ugh, oh, I was going to test my pronunciation. Asclesis, 
Phidias, Euripides, Herodotus, <laughs> Thucydides, <laughs> Plato, Socrates, Hippocrates, Aristophanes, and Aristotle. The list goes on. You know, change the world without uh, world history. Without them, there's no Stratton of Stagir to inspire Alexander Drennan. Without them, we do not exist. Is it perfect time? No. But listening to the flaws and the greater and obscure state of truth, given an opportunity. Oh, excuse me. Give freedom, resources, and space to grow. Human beings are capable of incredible things. Yes, that's true. It would mean everything for me to walk the roads where these people once walked, to stand where they stood, to stand, to think about the world as they dared to. Wow. That's uh, one robot thread there. Good job. Good job. Oh, interesting. We saw this earlier. Who, who extracted this? Oh, Alcatraz. Oh, okay, never mind then. Uh, yeah, alright. I actually wanted to look at the, um, the Sphinx thing to see. I don't remember which ones represented the one we had to press. I think it's uh, pretty much a kite from where we're standing, right? Blop, 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 blop. There we go. Okay, so that one's ready for pickup. Um, and then south-ish, southwest. Which would have been, you know, slightly over there, probably. Oh, don't, don't go, don't go in the deep water. When the world is at peace, and there is no price no. to pay for thoughts that stray from what is permitted. Uh -huh. But when times grow hard, and even ordinary men are filled with mindless anger, when the face of the enemy is suddenly known to every virtuous citizen, mm. and to question the virtuous is to be likened to Ephialtes, when every hoary old superstition suddenly springs back to life as if it had never been defeated, and all the work of the philosophers seems to have been for naught. Mm -hmm. Then one may discover what one truly believes. I suppose that's more or less true. So wait, is this deep enough where we're... Yeah, okay, no. Kind of went south southwest there that the uh, Prometheus thing was pointing in, but didn't see it. It's not immediately visible. At least not in the bit that I was looking at. So maybe it's amongst the trees. Maybe it's just a shorter distance away than the previous one was, because the other one was, like, fucking across the entire map. That annoyed me. It's on top of a thing or something. Puzzles. We've got two of them left, I think. Five and six. Oh boy. Uh, no comment on that one, I guess. At least not yet. Alright. Laser bits, red bits, nuisance. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Excuse me. Ugh. Sneaking up on me. Fuck. <coughs> ah. All right, red laser bits, uh, platform, another laser bit here. Let's be on the purple, though. Oh, we got another laser bit there, which leads to a fan. Leads to over there. Okay. Can we uh, target that from within? We can. Let's 
let's do that for now. And then we can control the... Get it moved in until it's like... About right there, I'd imagine. Oops, and I did the... Kind of the wrong bit on it. That's fine, we can just do that. And then we can engage if we did our good. Nope, needs to move a little bit further. A little bit further. There. Probably like right, about right there. Yep, just barely. Okay, that opens that. Ah, but it's not... Ah, oh, for gosh sake. I just need to leave it connected while I do the other thing. Oh, all right, fine. So wait for it on the return, or not, or not, because it's fucking. Is it moving too fast? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um. Well, can I just kind of yoink this off of here? Oh, I see. Because I need it to cut out for a hot second, but otherwise I need it connected. There we go. Oh, wait. Did I not put that in the right spot? Yeah, I need to put it behind the other thing, I guess, huh? Uh, like that. Puzzle remains, number six here. And we can go do the tower, but we gotta figure out the Prometheus thing too, I suppose. Okay, elements. We got both red and blue laser. We got a platform. Okay, this one runs on blue. Let's see that. We've got a switch, which I imagine controls the fan. Yep. Okay. And a red platform as well. Blue's over there, and that's the final bit there. Okay, so we need to get blue elevated. Um, I actually don't know what that's going to do right now, do I? Uh, well... Then what? So what's what is it gonna do? Okay. Uh just wanna kinda of block it there. Be like, hey motherfucker, just keep going, keep on trucking. Um, you know what? Let's disconnect that temporarily. that I can get uh, blue connected up. And there. Then uh, do this again. Wait for it to go there, roughly thereabouts, and then boink. Oh, that's not enough, huh? Oh, and I see the thing that's up there. Oh, that's interesting. Prometheus bit is inside puzzle six. Oh, but I gotta—I can climb up from above. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So this isn't. Uh... Hmm. It's not tall enough to do, to do the thing. Um. Can we instead, mayhaps, 
jump up there ourselves, and then ro go, go, Robo Arms, flip the switch. No, of course not. Uh, okay. Jump up there. Oh, just barely, yeah. Okay. But, um... No, that doesn't really help. <laughs> Are you kidding? I can't... The fuck? Yeah, I was just gonna... Let's see. I'm just gonna put it up there and be, like, done with it. Put it on top of this motherfucker here. Oops. No, no, no. Just do that. No, of course that's not tall enough either. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I... I've got an idea. This is dumb, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna yunk myself outside the thing. I figured I would be able to get up here. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I think I might have fucked this up by, by taking this outside then. So I figured they would let me Skyrim horse this one. Come on, really? Like just, uh, just reach up. Or like crawl along it or something. Uh, well, I'm supposed to be able to get up there to get the Prometheus bit, right? Maybe we can still do it just from a different spot. Eh. Eh. Ah. <laughs> eh. mm. Okay, I think I fucked it up. Okay. So then what? Like, what can I do here? I suppose... I'm not tall enough to get up onto the walls from here? Eh. Nope. Okay. But I can get up on the wall from there. But that doesn't let me get around anywhere else. That's kind of the issue, too, huh? Oh, I bet I need to just be on the platform somehow to get up there. Hmm. All right, puzzle first. Figure the rest out later. Okay, so then that means blip, bloop, blop. that, move that away. Well, that does seem a little bit silly, though. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that's on the fan. Oh, whoops. Why would they give me two platforms if there wasn't supposed, if I wasn't supposed to use both of them? I think is what I'm getting at here. There. So I've got the blue one there, that doesn't make much sense. It's like this little slight bit here. Leads me to believe this is part of the uh, Prometheus bit puzzle here. Very well might be it. Who knows? But okay, so if I turn the fan on, it goes up. Shit goes up. Okay. Can I just barely reach that from here? When I'm on the... When I'm on the... In plat when I'm on the platform! How did I get on the platform before? 
There. I just barely reach over. I probably need to be on the far end of it, right? But anyways, even if I do that, put the blue laser on there, it would need to be like on the far side of it, I guess. Maybe I just stop it at a bad spot. dead fucking center of it, right? Right there. Yeah. No, just barely doesn't clear it. Oh, can I uh, use my head? Oh, I see. Because now they expect me to put the thing under it. They want me to put the thing under it. That's why. I think. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Alright, hold please. <laughs> Which means I need the blue one out here. See, that's why there's the second platform. think because now I can do uh, let me grab that and uh, reconnect this thing and put it up here and put that up oh but it's not gonna oh but I can do it like this oh shit uh, oh no I can do it like this he <laughs> You do that, and then just go boink, and then that's open. All right. All right, that's the last of the, the normal puzzles, but now, how can I somehow, like, jig my butt up there? such a way. Uh, where's the other laser? There it is. To be like, hey, I want to do that. Alright, that's fine. Um, I would also like to yeah, can we get our butts on top of this again? <laughs> Fucking I need to move this forward like a half step, or I can just do that. Oh, just do that, and then oh, gosh, oh boy. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Gives me a little bit of extra. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let me uh, yoink this. So I can do that. I'm gonna whoop, over there. Can I just put that back? Very carefully. Put that back over. I don't want to jump there. Kind of you to say that, but I don't want to jump there. Okay, no, it's not like that. Because I just kind of want to barely do this. Get up on top of the platform, redirect, and jump my ass over. I don't know if they're, the hitboxes are going to let me do that, though. Or, alternatively, I could just jump on this dumb platform... Ah! Nuts. Now it's gonna have a, a hot second to do that now. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. They really don't want me going through there. Um, I suppose I could do it like this, though. I could grab that, jump up, pop over, pop over, pop this. Sure, fine, whatever. Oh, wait, where the fuck did that get set? Excuse me, no. No, set it up here. But uh, sure. Okay, fine. Um, and then I need to do that. Oh, yeah, I get it. That's very helpful. Okay, 
No, turn the switch off. Yeah, great. Ugh. Can I just re-grab that with fancy robo-arms? Oops, no, I disconnected everything. Um, alright, I need that. I don't, well, I don't need that connected there anyways. I just need the blue thing. Just need the blue thing lit up, really. Uh, but I still need the red one connected somehow. Wait. I, no, I need the blue one connected. I'm an idiot. Uh, can I just set, I just want to set it on top of this. Can I not do that? Just like right... Right here. There we go. Well, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that's probably not the way to do it, anyways. So now my curiosity remains like, how do I get my butt out here? Which myself standing on this lower platform. Like that? Oh, see, I almost had it. I can just barely get that far. It's like I'm almost falling off at that point. Oh! Ah! So I probably just need to move this a little bit further forward. <laughs> Let me move that a little bit farther forward. Oh, it's already moving back, because of course it is. Uh, where's the second? Okay, there's the laser. Other laser thing. Gimme. Like, I need a dead center on that. Mm, that's pretty close. Mm, actually, a little bit further away. Because at this point, I should be able to target it. <laughs> Alright, let's put this, like, right... That's gonna work, yeah. Okay. Oh, this probably isn't the way they want me to do it. How in the f am I supposed to get up there? Can I zap a laser at it? Oh, no. Closest before, before I moved. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Fine, fine. I guess that's not the way to do it. Um. All right. So, would we be able to get on... I'm curious now, actually. Let's, let's do it this way. Get this going. Let's 
do it like that. Let's get that up there, right? And let's just turn this off. Now, if I move the blue platform, will it move the red along with it? Nope. Okay. Very good. Never mind. Okay, you know what? Let's keep that off then. Can we really not get just enough height to get on one of these? Gah! No, I guess not. But, I mean, most of these have not involved... Well, that's not true. I guess the Pandora laser ones have sort of been... Like, very contingent upon shit within the puzzles, right? So why wouldn't a Prometheus one do it? Okay. All these are too steep to climb. This would have been the one I thought to be like, yeah, hey, just run up the side of this motherfucker, but no. Too strict for that. Okay. up on the outer wall. But even if I wanted to do that, what else, how else would I do this? Right? I would need to somehow get over there. Oh, wait. I'm probably pretty stupid. Um, I need to move this back. I need to move this back. I'm just gonna use this to shorten it up a bit. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, gee, wow. How very simple. <laughs> you like a dummy. Okay. We'll get all the puzzles done. Oh, what in the wo I'm sorry, excuse me? Um, sir. Uh. Okay, is this one of the rails they let us walk along, or...? Because all the previous ones we've tried, they didn't let you. They were just like, no man, watch out for third rail. You cannot. And okay, there's this very... Okay. Just for convenience sake, this is the one you can walk on. Seems dangerous. Don't walk on a monorail. It's not, not a good lesson to be teaching here. Oh. Fuck that shit. <laughs> hey, we, we, we did it. I just took the card. <laughs> I was thinking they wouldn't make you do like a travel just to get to it, right? 
that would be a little silly. But I'm glad I checked. Like, all the previous rails we've tried to walk on, right? They didn't let us. But greater things than these may yet be accomplished by those who uphold the faith. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Right, whatever. Keep for me. <laughs> Piece of shit. Um, alright, let's at least go unlock the tower. We probably won't go through it tonight. It's getting kind of late, but. We'll at least go do the Tetris bits. They're, they've been more or less straightforward. You got anything else? No? Good? Alright. Oh, alright. This one's prescriptive. I guess as well it should be because a lot of them. Oh, that ain't gonna do it. This one will, though. Boop, boop. Hey, look at that. Yeah, straightforward. Right? Yeah, I wouldn't think that as you're crawling your butt out of the area, like, why would you expect that to hit it, right? I don't know. I, I, I have mixed feelings about that particular Prometheus bit. Not exactly uh, straightforward. Ah, fuck it. Since we're in here already, just be a couple minutes listening to Pandora or the Sphinx or whatever. And then we'll be out of here. That will be an area complete. Whee! Oh, the Sphinx, great, can't wait. This is the last time we will speak. Oh, don't tempt me with a good time. Together, we have told the stories of ancient gods and heroes. Okay. But the golden ages of the past are distant. Quite, yes. The gods have retreated to their high places. Yeah, well, and they exist no to begin with. Amongst men. <laughs> Not the truth. In days gone by, <clears throat> I was renowned for my riddles. Well, yeah, you've got a lot of work to do, though. The recent ones are... Oh, are a riddle? Okay. I will find my answer. I don't need an answer. Existence is enough. I have an answer. You just can't see it. Ah! That would be the that would be the needle point right there. <laughs> yeah, you think you're the only one who can't do the thing? Yeah, that's funny. Um, I don't need an answer. Existence is enough. That it is. Farewell, creature of clay. Mm-hmm. Remember my stories, and do not let the flame burn you. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't touch the stove. I get it. What a riddle. Alright, what are we thinking here? Thinking red, maybe? Hey, good guess. That is an unsettling amount of energy. I would hate to see what would happen if one of those beams was aimed at something else. Uh-huh. It is a big fuck-off laser, so what are you... What do you think would happen if it was pointed at something else? It would that something else would be told to fuck off. <laughs> All right, good. We we did a section. It took a little bit longer than perhaps I wanted, but section complete. I I, I bet. Right? It's all the normal puzzles. The two lost ones, the lab, and the gate we have to do later. Anyways, excellent. On track. On track. Let's just head back to the travely bit and then call it a night. Excellent. Okay, so then we just got the two... I imagine these two aren't very chatty anymore yet. Just got the two sections on this west bit here. It'd be, what, 16 normal puzzles, four lost puzzles, two stars, and then we can do the gates, I guess, right? And, you know, the rest of the story, but, yeah, that's good enough on its own, I guess.
Uh, so let's call it there for tonight. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. Uh, more of the Tales Principle 2 here. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST will be Shmup Book Club. Um, so more... Uh, Shein Ryu, or Bluish Res uh, Resurrection Plus, or Karis. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST. Hopefully I've got the energy for it at the end of the week. Uh, long play, so Assault Android Cactus. Uh, speed runs and Infinity Drive. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.